One of my vlogs got 50,000 views. Woo! Hey you, my name is Ian and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Just a couple days ago, I got a notification on my phone. Where it's my phone? It doesn't matter. Your video, the one about lens wall photography, got over 50,000 views. That's pretty cool. That is not the first or only video of mine that has over 50,000 views. I have the gaming video from a game I used to play long ago, which has got over 250,000 views. And I also got a music video about playing on guitar, Nova by Ahrex, it has over 150,000 views. And now that I think about it, I do have a vlog about my horses, which also has about 150,000 views or more. Honestly, I'm just shooting these numbers out of my head. I have no clue what they're actually at, so I'll put pictures. Yeah. This vlog is obviously unscripted, I'm just saying things out of my head so it's not particularly accurate. And while we're mentioning a bunch of random stats, my uh, YouTube watch time has got over 5,000 so I'm thinking maybe it's time to monetize or not or maybe I should wait till 6k or 10k. It still doesn't make sense to monetize right now because my views are pretty small. I get maybe 250 views a day and primarily on those lens ball videos. But anyway, the point of this video was to give you guys an observation of what I think made that video successful and how you can maybe make a popular video that may reach 50,000 views or 50 million views or you never know. Now, like someone said recently in a video I was watching, you cannot plan for a viral video because the concept of the word viral is that it just happens to be viral. It's not like super popular. If you plan a video to be popular, it's popular, but it's not viral. Viral literally applies to something that was not expected to do well and all of a sudden it did well. So in my case, this video was viral because I wasn't expecting it to do any better than any of the videos I was making at the time. But now looking back, since I know pretty much or I suspect the reason for why it became viral, the next video I make on that principle might not be viral, it will be popular, well planned, I don't know, I don't know, I guess that works that way. So the first point and probably the most important point is picking a topic for your video. And actually the first two points which I'm gonna mention are actually interlinked because one depends on the second and the second depends on the first. So one is making sure there's a demand for that topic on the market, which is pretty much, you know, business applied to YouTube. And the second is how popular the product is. So like I said, they rely one upon the other, like, if, if a product is super popular but there's no demand for it you can launch it and no one's gonna buy it because there's so much competition but on the other hand if there is no competition but it's not popular you might launch it but no one will buy it because not enough people are interested in it and you're gonna fail anyway I hope that made sense so in the sample of this video when I was creating it lens balls were really popular in Instagram all these popular accounts and feature pages were throwing out a bunch of images of lens ball and people are like oh my god what is this it's a crystal ball it's a glass it's this and this but everyone had names for it people didn't know the company yet and what it was originating from and what was it for but everyone was interested people were searching it up and looking for it but then if you went on YouTube and you looked up lens ball there weren't any videos on the lens ball like maybe someone mentioned it on the side or some Indian guy reviewed it with his phone so there was no high quality video that was pinpointing the use of the lens ball and at the time I didn't have any idea about all these elements I didn't know what was demand what was popular what was missing on the market I was like okay I have a lens ball let's make a video about it and all of a sudden boom and exploded and I was like whoa that's cool and interestingly enough it's still one of the most popular videos on my channel today if I look at my statistics from the day I get maybe five to ten views on some of my videos and that video has like 200 250 views every day still so those are the two most important things about making a popular video make sure your topic is popular and make sure it's in demand and that you don't have like oceans of competition and I guess in third place I I just put all the other details which makes a video clickable and interesting to watch if you have an interesting thumbnail people are more likely to click on it if you have a more interesting title people are more likely to click on it if you have a good description and good taglines then YouTube is more likely to rank it higher for people to watch so each of those seemingly little details can actually make a really big difference for the way your video performs of course under that point is also being active on that video replying to comments because i'm pretty sure the youtube algorithm also monitors activity and and kind of gives priority to videos or channels which are active and actually interact with their audience because it's in youtube's best interest to be as engaging of a platform as possible i know this seems like a pretty general and basic video but it's something that we always have to remind ourselves of like sometimes even i make completely 
like pointless videos just because I know my deadline is coming and I really should start focusing on, on, on targeting topics within my niche which are popular and then being ahead of my competition either time-wise or quality-wise or any otherwise you have to be ahead of your competition and then maybe my videos will be a little bit more successful. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next week and maybe next week I'll make a video that makes more sense.